all right guys back with another video so now that uh my castle is now next to my other castle um that i had set up earlier um i want to show you a few things on basically where everything is at and how i um personally uh build on these games at first um so um, with this game, they do have this little floating thing that rotates around, which you can collect, and it gives you silver. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start some of these events and start building, and um, Rhea's going to kind of go over it. Um, so what they want me to do is they want us to build another lumber yard. Um, what I do is generally I build this area up first um, so that... Um, I get all my rewards from doing said things first. Uh, when you first start, you can get everything to level four, um, which I suggest you doing. It helps with uh, keeping everything um, copacetic in a way, um, basically, so you, that you don't run out of resources as you're building, um, because that's the last thing you want to do is as you're building, getting um, basically getting screwed. Um, and because this event right here um, is only trained troops, I'm not getting anything from building. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the building event to go ahead and build the majority of this up. But what I'm going to do um, in order for my castle level to go up is I'm going to build one of each. Um, so I started off with the lumber, uh, the lumber yard and I got the, the farm right there so I'm just gonna go ahead and start building uh, at least one of each because um, you want to make sure that you're getting your resources in um, but as I said I'm not going to be building the rest of that up until the building event because the building event is going to give you more resources for building um, I mean at, at that point you're already going to be doing something in the game might as well be getting a reward for it um, I mean it's only a 30 30 to 40 minute timer between the two. Um, so it's really one of those things where you can work on other things um, as you're waiting for it to build. Um, because in order to technically uh, upgrade your castle, you have to have um, at least one of each built to their max. Um, what I do like about this game is that they do have that that system where you don't have to go into it each time in order to um, upgrade it and build it which cuts down a lot of time in my opinion because a lot of games like Lords Mobile or the Final Fantasy game or any other game that's pretty much like this um, when you're upgrading things they make you exit out of the menu in order to upgrade them again this one you're all you got to do is press free um, which they're free because with the construction time um, when you first can uh, get that construction time on onto your character when they have you make it the architect that what is what sets you up to basically have the the proper setup in order to get the free um, so that's why they have you do that first and then kind of go through a tutorial um, right here are your quest markers um, you can also see these quest markers in the challenge um, section um, and then all you gotta do is claim and as you can see um, on the screen here um, I get one for each time that I do anything and I get a level up um, so each level up you get power and you get skills um, how I build out my skills is I definitely match out construction as much as I possibly can um, because again, that speeds up construction speed, which we want to do since we want to go ahead and build as quickly as possible. So just make sure you claim all your prizes. Um, because again, uh, you go ahead and gain levels the quickest that way. Um, the next is research speed. Um, you just want to go ahead and make sure that those are done. Um, these trees are pretty well put together and you do have different pre presets. Um... You do have to pay to change between the presets, and on here, um, there is a battle and there's an economy. Um, now, for the first few days, you should really shouldn't even touch your battle because, your, like I said, your construction speeds and your research speeds are the, are the are one of the greatest things uh, that's going to help you out. Um, and you end up getting construction speed 2, 
Um, on my other character, I got it in, I want to say, two days. And then on top of that, it was... Um, I was, I'm level 26 now, so about level 26, I should be able to reach this and about have it about halfway. So it should be about 15, a level, uh, by level 26, this would be around 20, uh, 15 to 20, um, on the construction speed too. Um, so again, make sure you collect all yours, and as you're collecting them, as you can see, now I have more resources than when I started. Um, so that that is one of the basically end goals here is to definitely start with more resources than you when you start with um, You want to make sure everything is upgraded to the current level um, Because at that point that's when you're going to um, be able to upgrade your citadel again um, now with this um, this little check here This is whenever you level your castle uh, it goes all the way down to level 30 uh, I don't know if they're going to be expanding upon this, but that's pretty good goals. Um, currently, right now, I just received the level 17 um, box, and the level 17 box is about the production, which by far is one of the best boxes to open because at this point, you start getting, um, as you can see, you start getting production rates on everything going ridiculously high, um, which is always a good thing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and collect mines for two, which is a 24-hour uh, shield, and then I'm going to be on my way to get three, which is another teleport, which teleports are very valuable in this game, and you want to save them as much as possible, but um, you want to use your teleports to basically gather resources. So in a war game, that's basically going to battle, so you want to definitely save teleports to go in and out of battle. If you don't do that, you end up going to end up being screwed, and you're going to be away from your hive which is not technically a good thing especially if you're not super high level um you can end up getting wrecked by a lot of different guilds so it's always better to ha one hunting packs and two uh, to have teleports that are going to basically uh help you out and be able to move out of those situations um now they want me to train 20 pikemen so what we're gonna do we're gonna go over here and we're gonna train those 20 pikemen um, they don't take long, it's really not that long of a deal, but what I do want to start doing is, um, once I get, get them trained up, is I'm going to want to make sure these are full at all times if I'm not upgrading them, um, because at that point, now I'm building my army, um, and you want to make sure that you, your army is built, um, fair, um, uh, I just, with this going, um, 30, 30, 30, and then the remaining being your siege. Um, siege is only important when you're taking over castles or if they have a whole bunch of traps. If they don't have a whole bunch of traps, um, which you're going to figure out through scouting, um, you're going to want to go ahead and get rushed through. Um, but we'll get on to that on another video. So uh, our 20 pike men has, uh, have finally got done being built. Um, and we're gonna go to our quest and we're gonna do our challenges and it says that we did that We claimed our growth rewards And we went ahead and upgraded our command center to level 2. Um, you want to make sure that you're doing your daily quest um, There's they're basically set once you get to a VIP level of I believe three or higher you go ahead and um, These are basically automatically done for you. So all you got to do is press claim so um, I would say within the first like four days, I am on VIP 7. So it's not that hard to obtain. Um, you guys got to kind of be smart with what you're buying and how you're buying it. Um, on your VIP quest, I like how they have it set up. So every day, uh, every day you get your VIP quest, these reset in five hours. Um, whenever you do any of these things, it, go, it gives you points towards these chests. Um, now, I haven't reached the 300 trust, and that's just because some of these I just, I can't do. Um, but, like, reinforce ally alliance troops by 10,000 and stuff like that, and win PvP battles. So, um, out of that, there's a lot of stuff that on there that you might not reach the 300 every day, but reaching the 210 every day is pretty darn good, and uh, you get a lot of different uh, stuff out of them. Um, you also get VIP points out of them, which is... 
again, really good because your VIP points are going to make it so your daily quests are going to just basically be auto fill. And all you got to do is press them to activate them. Um, your chronicles, um, these are basically step stones and achievements, and they give you little boost up in what you need to do. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go inside the castle and we're going to change some, um, we're actually we're going to go right here and we're going to change some details. Um, so I don't like the name that they gave me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to, where are we going to change that to? Phobos. There we go. Real name of Phobos. So you type it in, press use. It uses that. It changes the name of the character. Now everybody on the outside of your char uh, character is now going to be able to see that my name is now Phobos. Uh, I'm gonna keep it as a black guy on here. Let's see if we got a different black guy on here. Let's see if we got a different one. Black guys don't get a lot of love over here. So yeah, we're just gonna keep it the black guy because the black guy cool. Uh, he looks like he's been through some shit. Uh, new guy. We're gonna type some new stuff in here. New guy on the block. All right, and now, um, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and join an alliance. Now, my alliance that I am joined in, um, if you go to anybody's profile that's near you, or your, let's say your friend's profile, and you open it up, you can, uh, and they don't know their name or an alliance or anything like that, or they're just being weird, you can go ahead and press that uh, the flag button, and with the flag button, you can type in which, uh, which guild you're looking for or look through the popular guilds. Um, with with my guild, I already know the name, so I just have to go ahead and search them. It does not look it does not look up by the the code. We can go see things. Alright. So that didn't work out that way. So um what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um Go ahead and open up the world. Um, I'm going ahead and move over my screen real quick um, so I can I cannot show you my direct coordinates because I am a Newcastle and do, don't want to uh, reveal the hive location. Um, so um, right here, I'm going to click on um, this guy right here, and I'm going to press on him. Now it shows everything that this, this this person has done. So this is my other profile that I basically uh, that I play on my phone. Um, and all you got to do is press on this button right here and join. So the alliance is full. So that's probably why it wasn't showing up in the actual um, in the actual screen. But we'll get to we'll get to that when um, the time is right. Um, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below what uh, the next video you would like to see. And I can go ahead and uh, do that for you. You guys have a nice day.